Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Adjective Phrase 41. The adjective phrase today is Namby Pamby. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, if someone says that another person is Namby Pamby, uh, it means that he or she is weak, overly sentimental, feeble, if they're a guy, maybe even a little effeminate, uh, etc. All right, let's continue. The adjective phrase uh, Namby Pamby came directly from a derogatory nickname uh, given to the poet and playwright Ambrose Phillips. So they got the name from his name. That's why Namby Pamby is kind of a combination of his name. I think they put like an N for the Nam, for the Am, for Namby, and Pamby, they took the P. So they took it from letters of his name and kind of made it up. All right, let's continue. Uh, Phillips became the private tutor of King George's, uh, the first grandchildren, in 1914. Uh, this gave him a lot of high status or a lot of high social status. Um, he then started writing overly sentimental poems in praise of the king's grandchildren. The rival poets of the day, such as Alexander Pope, John Gay, uh, Jonathan Swift, uh, and Henry Carey uh, considered him to be very wishy-washy, you know, maybe even a bit of a brown nose, like a little bit of an ass kisser or a sellout or something like that. They didn't really like him. They didn't like his style. They didn't consider him to be like a real poet anymore. They, figured, they thought he went kind of too far in this direction. And they created this nickname for him of Namby Pamby. And then anything of that style started to be called the same name. So anything they thought was kind of weak or wishy-washy or anything like that, after that time, started to pick up the nickname of Namby Pamby. Okay, now let's just look at a couple of examples here. Her speech was really Namby Pamby, yeah, so that it could be that style. Or that politician is not really fighting for the people, he is just a Namby Pamby pretender. Again, maybe he's weak, maybe he backs down all the time, uh, gives in a lot, something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.